Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy, and today I am going to show you how I designed this cross, and I can't see what the camera sees, so hopefully you can see everything here. Let me see if I get my face out of the way. This is Jesus on the cross. It is three-dimensional. It is also three layers, and I'm going to show you today how I designed this, and this is a 100% original file and today is a uh, self-promotion day so <laughs> I, I'm not like other creators where every video I make is a self-promotion but this one today is going to be and I'm going to show you how you can get this file and make it yourself and as well as for my hardcore viewers somewhere in this video you're going to find a discount coupon for my online store where you can get this file but for now, let's jump into Lightburn and I'll show you how I actually designed this. Okay, so this is the Lightburn screen and you'll see that I have an art library loaded here called Jesus on the Cross with three files in here. And I forgot to add this base. So I'm just gonna import that right now and we'll call it base. There we go. So now you'll have these four files will come with the file itself. And on in the Lightburn template, you'll get the Lightburn template as well as the art library, as well as the SVG files if you don't use Lightburn. So let me explain how this works. This is the base. I used a regular standard birch for this, 12 by 12 piece of birch, this whole project is sized to be cut out of 12 inch by 12 inch wood. If you wanted to resize this, what you would do is drag over everything here and take a look up in the top left corner here where it says height. Forget about the width because that's all the way across here. We're concerned only with the height. So you can just change the height to whatever it is that you want and it will resize everything proportionately so that it will fit. I'm not going to resize this. Well, I could. If I wanted to do a 16 inch tall, I could just do that and now everything is perfectly resized. And you'll see that this will fit on a 11, uh, a little over 11 by 16 inch piece of wood. But we're not gonna do that for today, so let's just go back to the actual size that you'll get with the file. And let me explain to you uh, how I did this. So we've got birch here, which is very cheap wood. Over here I used a black cherry for this one. And neither one of these will require any finishing because I used a Rust-Oleum triple thick glaze on this. And in fact, I didn't even use any glue. So if your wood is perfectly flat or if you flattened it, then you won't need, if you're using the Rust-Oleum triple thick, you won't need any uh, glue on this because what I did was I just sprayed these the first coat I sprayed everything with the triple thick and then I used my heat gun from about a foot away on low power to dry it real quickly over the course of about three or four minutes and then I just arranged this one on top and then I uh, also put the Jesus on top right here and precision uh, positioning is not necessary and then I also just put this sign uh, right over here on the top like that and now they tacked together because of the rust-oleum so uh, once they were tacked together I went ahead and put another coat over the whole project and that sealed all of the little edges so there was no glue necessary using the Rust-Oleum glaze. You can go ahead and cut all of these out and glue them together and then finish them with whatever uh, finish you want to use if you're using a lacquer or something else like that. Uh, but I did uh, do this all without any glue. And the final product is uh, absolutely amazing. I think anyone would be proud to uh, display this. The thing is that you don't have to be uh, a Christian or a Jew to uh, make this. There are lots of religions that recognize 
Jesus and his crucifixion and you know multiple religions uh, religious people can make this and if you're not a religious person you might have a craft store well let me tell you folks uh, this will sell very easily for 40 or 50 dollars if you use the right wood now I did use a solid wood for the center the cross and I used a black cherry uh, wood for that and it really really looks fantastic the contrast between the birch and the black cherry wood so that is pretty much it now I will in this video you will see a coupon code somewhere <laughs> for the entire month of April uh, of 2024 so this video is being recorded in April 2024 and this coupon code that you'll see pop up somewhere in this video will get you half off the $7.99 price on this particular file and you can make this yourself now if you're a patron you've already seen this file I've already posted this to patreon and my patrons get anywhere from 80 to 100 percent off all of the files in my online store so depending on your level of support uh, if you're a $3 patron, you'll get 80% off. If you're a $9 patron, you'll get 90% off. And if you're a champion patron, you will get 100% off every electronic file in my online store. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, I'll put a link down below the video in the description where you can sign up as a patron. And if you do, um, the welcome message that I send you in the direct messages on patreon is all done manually i have to create the coupon code create the welcome message and i'll usually get those done the same day that you sign up some days uh, i might be like on tax day i'll be getting surgery so uh, i'll be down for a day or two and uh, but usually within 48 hours you'll get your coupon code from patreon that you can use in my online store and the best thing about my store is that all of the files that I sell there are laser tested. So I test the files myself. I make them myself. And let's talk about really quickly about speeds and powers on this. You will have to do your own material testing to determine what engraves well, what speed and what power, and what speed and power that you can use to cut this out. And I think what I'll do uh, if I look at my, let's see, picture frame accents, this is the accent that I used over here for the edges. Uh, this is basically just two rectangles that are welded together, and this edge that I created welded to the corners. And I think what I'll do is um, I will size this to the approximate size, and I'll show you why in a second, of this corner here and uh, this will be uh, a test file that you can use and I will go ahead and add this to the library like that called test file and that's what you can use to run your cut test and if that if you can cut all of this out perfectly you've got the right speed and the right power so let's get rid of that now and I just want to say that uh, all of this is hundred percent original the image of Jesus here was taken taken from the National Gallery of Art and you can go there and get royalty free images and what I did was I selected the image and I exported it from Lightburn as a process bitmap in high resolution and then I brought re-imported that same process bitmap into Lightburn and I traced it and then I ungrouped the image and I started getting taking out all of the anomalies in the background uh, I moved the uh, sash here from the right side to the left side <laughs> I removed some of the other pieces as you can see here from the sash and uh, cleaned up some of it now I do like all of these little details that are in here as well as the stab wound over here so um, this comes out perfect and you will need to do a material test so you can figure out how to get the best engraving for this I went with a very light engraving so that's the whole thing in the package 
for $7.99, you will get all of these layers. So you'll get one, two, three, four layers plus the test file to make sure that you can cut it out perfectly. And everything is already set, all of the layers. Now, on your cuts and layers over here, if you come over here to where it says air and just right click and come down here to sort cuts last, click on that, you'll see that now your black layer will engrave first and then your red layer will cut second. And the tool path is just for the suggested wood types. You can go ahead and just delete that tool path and then you'll only have the two layers here. But again, you have to make sure that the red layer is not first because this is the priority over here. So you want the black layer to be first. You can just drag and drop it up like that or you can right click on the top and anywhere across the top here and do sort cuts last. And that will automatically move your cut layer down to the bottom in the right position where it's supposed to be. So I hope you enjoy this file today. I hope you make yourself or your friends one of these. If you're a crafter, don't forget to put your logo on the back <laughs> if you're selling these at craft shows. Uh, but this is the uh, final project and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video today. So. Thank you for watching my self-promotion video today, which there are few of, and I'll see you in the next one.